Hi guys, MC Procrastinator here. This is the first of hopefully many in a part of the 10 minute series. And if you watch my introduction about the 2 minute series, it kind of covers off some of the things that I'm looking to do differently in 2018. One, when that comes to the channel, but also importantly about my life and what I'm looking to develop in the respect to different businesses. So at the moment, I work as a specialist in uh, GIS, which is Geographic Information Systems. I cross over into uh, all sorts of different types of technologies, 3D being one of them, and I'm quite getting into the kind of animation side of things, which is like a long progressive type of development. And the two types of businesses that I'm looking to do, and these are interest businesses for the time being, they may or not, they may or may not expand into something bigger, is one which is the base centric around the GIS thing, which is um, basically going back in time and recreating buildings that existed uh, prior to the 19th century or prior to the 1950s within uh, New Zealand. And at the moment, I'm looking to focus on Wellington. I'll actually put an image up here to show you where I'm at with um, Wellington Parliament, and this is. 1856. Now it's a long process but what I'm looking to do is design a kind of procedural set of steps that will allow me to replicate, set a process in place so that I can actually do this uh, on task for different buildings across New Zealand. And the reason that I'm focusing on New Zealand, one is because I live here and two because I think it's really really cool to support the country that you live in and I love the thought of um, really sort of creating more rich content when it comes to the historical aspect of New Zealand. And then we jump into something which is really, really quite exciting. Not that the GIS isn't exciting, but something that's really quite exciting. And that's, um, for me, what I'm looking to do, and uh, you might see from the title that I've tagged in this, uh, should I buy an Aston Martin DB9? That's a bit of a throwaway comment, but I am looking to buy uh, a top-end sports car. So it, I, put a, um, I put a survey out, and you'll see where I'm going with this at the minute. I, I've got an interest in motorcycles and an interest in cars. Um, I am semi-debating whether or not to come away from motorcycles. Look, inherently, um, one of my friends um, had a nasty accident, and it's certainly something that sits on my mind all the time. I do love riding my Turano. In fact, I've been out a couple of days with the fantastic weather, and I, every time I get on, I think this is just amazing, and then I read in the newspaper somebody else has been killed. And you can be the best rider in the world, right? But unfortunately, there's just people on the road who both make mistakes and do some really stupid things. So it got me thinking, do you know what? Like, how can I replace the rush that you get from being on a really, really cool motorbike? Um, and that's the only thing I could think of was a supercar. So um, what I decided to do was go, well, do you know what? Let's have a look at supercars on Trade Me. That's a going to eBay. I'll just click up some images of some of the stuff I've been looking at. And I've seen a Lamborghini, a uh, Lamborghini Gallardo. It's 85,000 New Zealand dollars. And that's a pretty cheap Lambo, right? And I thought, wow, that's like stretching it just a touch. I could, but I could probably get there, right? Like I could probably buy that. So um, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to have a look at this. I'm seriously going to have a consideration about buying a Lambo, right? I love it. And then I start thinking about how cool would it be to own a Lambo, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but unfortunately, it sold, which you would expect at that price. And then it left me with this inherent thing, um, this little niggle inside me going, it'd be pretty cool to have a super sports car. You know, what else is out there? So I looked at other cars, like the Ferrari 360s, Ferrari F430s, Aston Martin DB9, Audi R8. Audi R8, that's really nice. And, um, yeah, then I decided, well, actually, do you know what? It would be pretty cool. Um, and I, I'm pretty certain that some of these businesses exist around the world, okay? So this is, this is more New Zealand, right? Like, we aren't, like, hugely exposed to certain things. You know, it's a small little country. Now that's gone. Um, so I could go out and buy something like a Lambo, Ferrari DB9, or something, whatever, a super sports car. And... You know, then what I could do is on the weekends or some evenings, I can have a website, I can create an app because I'm obviously in that um, space. And, um, you know, like people could book it for an event, like a birthday party or um, it might be your ball, right? You might be 17, 18 years old and you want to turn up the ball in like a Ferrari or something really, really cool. Just make that occasion a little bit more special. So I started thinking about this a little bit more, sort of building things in my mind of how it might work. You know um, what sort of costs would be involved. You know, obviously there's an insurance aspect from a business. You know, making sure that you have uh, got liability in case of something happens to protect you, the um, things you drive, and other people, etc. Um, so I decided to put a cost analysis together on uh, some of the facts that I've researched. I went, Do you know what? It's quite possible uh, that this business could be reasonably successful. 
Um, and importantly, what I decided to do, like with any good business that um, runs today, you really, really have to spend a good bit of time doing market validation because sometimes we think things are a really good idea, uh, but unfortunately, whilst other people might think they're a good idea, they might not be prepared to pay for it. So what I decided to do is put a survey together. And yeah, there are a couple of things in the survey within hindsight now that um, have left me question a couple of points, but not enough to obviously stop it. It's, um, it's, 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 it's good enough for me to go, actually, that's, um, that's really quality information there, just with a couple of caveats that I haven't considered before, which are in hindsight. With that being said, I've got 100, uh, just short of 100 respondents, which is uh, pretty good. So I have a pretty good pool. I think what I might do now is, so where, yeah, where are we going now? So what I'll probably do is now I have a really good idea of what are the cars to get, what, what's the price point people are looking to pay, and then I need to think more how it's going to all come together, what's going to differentiate my business from other businesses like a chauffeur-run business um, or like a wedding service business. Do I really want to be a chauffeur business? Do I really want to be a wedding service business? Or do I really just want to concentrate on a niche because it relates best to me and what I would like to do, right? And again, that's where the market survey comes into its own because the question in there helped me define and understand, do people, do people think like me when it comes to an opportunity like this or do they think a little bit different? So guys, 2018 is gonna be pretty big. I'd be really keen to know your thoughts. I'll put a link into what my website is. And look, before anybody jumps in the bandwagon here when they go website, well, why haven't you got like heaps and heaps of fast cars and examples of things going on? This website was built to kind of support the marketing validation survey, okay? So the website is not what it's gonna look like at the end, assuming the business goes, in, um, assuming I establish the business fully and then go ahead, but where I'm up to at the minute, so we've got the survey out there, I've got a, a temporary website that has all the information about what it is I'm looking to do with information about the vehicles that are kind of like in the equation to try and help me, to help me define what people think are a super sports car to find out what they would pay for an experience because you know I might go out and spend two hundred thousand dollars on a Lamborghini. Actually I'm not gonna spend two hundred thousand dollars. I might go out and spend a hundred thousand dollars on a Lamborghini and then I might pick up say a Maserati um, Gran Turismo for fifty thousand dollars and people would pay the same amount of money, right? So from a business perspective it makes a lot more sense to do the latter, even though from my perspective I'd love to have the Lamborghini. So being able to differentiate our personal opinions sometimes and what we want for the benefit of the business making it profitable and uh, allowing it to be um, a self-fulfilling and perpetuating business in the long term um, can be quite difficult sometimes. So the website there is to supplement and support what the marketing campaign is with regards to market validation. Yeah guys, so um, look, check, check it out. I've got lots of information about the cars there, the potential ideas with regards to what I'm looking to do. Um, and just before I go, one last thing that I thought about today is I really like the thought of merging technology in with experience. And I'm not sure how it would work right now, but I quite like the thought of uh, augmented reality. So let's just imagine now, Audi R8, you get into the R8, you put on a set of virtual reality goggles, and then you have a chase scene or something like that, or you're part of a scenario, and you role play that out, okay? That is not the top priority at the minute, but that's a, that's a something that's just taken over my brain, and I'll spend a little bit more time, and probably research a little bit of to see what's been done out there in the tech space, and see if that's a viable thing to do, because I like the thought of doing something really different when it comes to um, uh, the possibility of um, raising this business. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. And that's me for my first 10 minute series of uh, 2018. Uh, thanks for your support, MC Procrastinator.